Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Designer Studio episode here on Brick Mania TV. Today we're talking a little bit more about the JU88A1 designed by Cody O'Sell. Uh, Dan's here to talk through some of the features and then we'll bring in Landon to uh, discuss the crew that it comes with as well. Uh, pretty important to the uh, early oh, German right, Luftwaffe, right, right. Yeah. especially uh, Battle of Britain I think is kind of what this is based off of, yep, but also the early A1 versions, etc. Um, what, what are some of the cool things you know about this plane? Well, the, the the G88 is called the Fast Bomber. Mm -hmm. um, it was twin engine bomber, super sleek. Um, as you can see, it's very skinny. In fact, there's hardly any fuselage to it. And that made it really aerodynamic, really fast. Um, they did for this model, for, for the Battle of Britain, they actually slung bomb racks underneath the wings. So it sure. actually have quite a, quite a heavy payload for considering it's, it's really small size. Um, so we do have those external bombs underneath the, the, the fuselage on this one. And they had a cool look to it. Yeah, it's it's cool. This I mean this the, the Germans were designing stuff very futuristic, mm -hmm. you know, way ahead of their time for for you know the late 30s when all these things were developed. Um, this would have a crew of four normally, um, because this fuselage is so skinny and it's also so so compact here. We actually only did put two crewmen with it. it was just the, the fuselage, you know, the the cockpit, I guess. Right. The two you can fit. Yeah, we put the two the two obvious ones, the, the pilot and the and the. The, the gunner, the dorsal gunner. I think he would actually. Uh, oh, whoops! Kaboom! Dropping bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Accident on the on the run on the tarmac. <laughs> so so basically, you do have a you know a semi detailed interior. It's all mm -hmm. it's all Lego parts, but you'd have two guys that fit in there. The other guys would actually be down below. Right. And we didn't put them we didn't put them in there. There's no way you'd be able. Well, to Well, the get size you'd have to make the yeah to fit fit the figure yeah. in there would be pretty crazy. And I should you know this is a Cody plane. This thing is solid. You can oh, yeah. you can swoosh it like crazy. Um, look at the wings. I mean it's it's very detailed. Uh, the that actual hydro cant look. on the, yeah, the, mm -hmm. the, hydro, the, the cant on the wings is, is perfect. It's spot on. Um, it does have the landing gear. Do you fold up? You know, you, you have your normal. You know, of course, the props rotate. Um, people do ask these questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and that, that's actually one of the giveaways too. That it's the A1 because I believe the A0 model actually had a four propped uh, <laughs> engine, and then they uh, rolled it back to the three, and then they also added that rear gunner too. So yeah. it's it's still one of the early versions, but right. it is kind of slightly updated from the right. original. So you do get you do get the the, the the landing gear do work of course getting all the, the the doors and everything you do have to turn the wheel ninety mm -hmm. degrees to get it in there but it, it works great. Um, let me put this back out so I can set it down. You have four bombs. They do come off as we've demonstrated. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, they're a, little, they're a little loose on there, but that's that's all right. Yeah, but you can fly it and then just use one finger to flip yeah, them yeah, down. Yeah, you can flick them up. It, it's <laughs> a play feature. Oh yeah. You do get the the brick arms. You have the, the little the little ball mounted. These in this case they're for brick arms nomenclature. They're the little ball mounted thirty calibers, but mm -hmm. they're simulating those German MG MG. Uh, I don't know what they're, MG-15, 16? I don't remember, but specifically the MG-34, basically, right. the aircraft version. So um, that's about it. The, the other, oh, some printing. printing yes. Right. So there are some stickers. I'll, I'll say this, we, there's some things we just cannot sticker up uh, or print, like the bottom of the, the, the wing, for example. Those are stickers. Sticker on the tail, the simulated swastika, because we're not going to go there. <laughs> and uh, these, uh, these, these tiles, are these the, the wing, the Balkan Kreutz on the wing and on the fuselage, those are actually printed. So, again, nice, you know, we're, we, we're, we're using our capabilities, our printing yeah. capabilities to the fullest. Of course, the figures are beautiful, and Landon will come out and talk about those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and, the, and the, the printing on the sides, too, it's a little bit cross element, but as you can see, they mesh together really, really well. Like, oh, there's, perfect, there's yeah. almost no line there, so, so that looks really, really good. And then a situation like this, you know, you have to use stickers because, first of all, it's on the side of the brick, and there's like, it, cr it crosses about six bricks. <laughs> it crosses in there, right? Exactly. So, so and it's on both sides. Right. Exactly. So we're, we're be nearly it. impossible to do. You'd, we'd have to build it and then print it. And then mm -hmm. you'd have to like puzzle it back together. But ultimately, still an awesome kit. Still a few left online available for pre-order. Uh, our, our release date has has passed here. Um, so that is why the designer studio is out right now. But now let's turn things over to Landon because we have a, a guy smuggling some snacks to talk about. <laughs> All right, so now we're taking a look at the two-person crew that is included with the JU-88. Uh, this guy, clearly bringing some snacks along, right? Absolutely, look at this Twinkie <laughs> vest. No, this is a life preserver vest, brand new artwork for that. Um, yeah, a really intense life preserver vest. It's all these individual cells of, of I don't know if it's K-Pak or some sort of... It looks cool though, especially the artwork. I mean, it's like, <laughs> whether it worked well or not, it looks sweet. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, kind of iconic of that era, and I finally got around to making that uh, that vest. And then uh, mm -hmm. going up to the top, we have a custom printed uh, head that's sort of simulating that pilot's cap. 
Um, and you can wear it in combination with this regular, with, with the uh, Lego one if you want. Sure. Um, kind of either or almost. Uh, goggles and the oxygen mask. And then on the, uh, I guess going down to the feet, you have those edel, um, those pilot boots. They're electrically heated. Heated, it's yes. Cool. A little plug in, I think, somewhere on there. Um, well, and especially, I mean, this is early war, but especially later in the war, yeah. they would be flying a long, long way yeah. to get to where they had to go. So a lot of time in the air. So, uh, otherwise, it's just a uh, kind of a jumpsuit underneath uh, with a little bit of simulated fabric detailing going around there. That's the figure for the kit. Cool. Very, 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 very cool. So, this JU88 does come with a crew of two. Uh, check out brickmania.com for a little bit more details. Otherwise, thanks for watching.